How's it going, YouTube? Mark from Like Minded Lunatics coming at you with your Monday music matchup. I hope you're doing well. If you've not yet subscribed to the channel, let me encourage you to do so in the bottom right hand corner of the screen if you're on a PC or right below the video if you're on your mobile. There's a little red subscription thing. If you've been watching our videos and haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It would certainly help us out a whole lot. And for those of you who have already subscribed, let me say thank you. We're so happy you're here. We're glad we're building this family of Like Minded Lunatics. And if you've already subscribed, why not share us on social media? Give us a shout out. We're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on all the things. Additionally, <clears throat> my buddy and writing partner Todd Wright does a segment on this channel we call Drink, Play, Swear. That's where Todd, who's a professional storyteller, tries to tell you a story as he's playing a video game and drinking an adult beverage. It's a great segment. You don't have to know anything about video games to make it fun, and you can check that out right here. These past few weeks, he's been working his way through Hades, and if you're unfamiliar, familiar with that game. It is fun to watch even if you don't know anything about it, so I encourage you to check that out. And finally, uh, me and Todd, so Todd is uh, the, the, the other co-founder of this channel, we're going to be in a storytelling show next week that all of you can watch. It's a virtual show. It's free. It's with uh, Testify Austin, which is a group that I have performed for uh, a number of times. And uh, if you know Lottie from our, uh, our, our videos here, we have a whole segment called Lottie's Rockycation. You can go check that out right there. Lottie is part of that group. So uh, next week, which is September 30th, uh, Todd and I will be in Testify's show show. So I'll leave a link to that. You can take a look at it. We would love to see you there. Again, it's a free show. You don't have to pay a thing. You can just come and enjoy it. All right. So for today's matchup, we're back to Metallica's Blacklist. This is a celebration of the Black Album that came out in 1991. And the Blacklist is a, uh, is a music set of 53 covers of black songs. So uh, we've got all kinds of artists covering Metallica, and I thought we would take a look at two covers of Holier Than Thou. One by Corey Taylor from Stone Sour and Slipknot, and another from Off, a punk supergroup with people from Black Flag and folks like that. Both of these are great bands, and I'm excited to see, hear these. I've not heard them yet, so let's do this. Let's start with Holier Than Thou first. This is the punk version, I think. I know that much about it. Let's see what happens. I've got my cough and I'm ready to go. Let's do it holier than thou. Uh, I got this next. Yeah. It's our manager. What? Wow, huh? he never calls. It better be a gig. Hello? Got you a gig, man. Oh, dude, everything's opening up. We need it so bad. What is it? I want to be surprised. Okay, but... It's going to be off the chain. Trust me. He's not going to tell us the details, but he says it's amazing and he wants it to be a surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we do it? Yeah, All right, we'll it. take it. Thank you so much, awesome. dude. Peace. Yeah! yeah. Back, baby! Finally! Back. Let's do it! Let's oh. do it! Yeah. I don't know what's happening so far. We're not yet to the song. I'm kind of into the narrative, though, I have to say. I mean, I'm, I'm interested to see where this narrative goes. Oh no, that we don't look need good. To have a serious talk with our manager. <laughs> Are we gonna do this or not? I'm kind of into it. I need the money. I can't even afford a haircut. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I need the money. I can't even afford a haircut. I, I know what you mean, my friend. I know what you mean, my friend. <laughs> I'm sorry, Father. It's just that my husband's been very distant lately. Oh, that's terrible. Intimacy? Unfortunately, no. Uh, he doesn't touch me. Oh. Well, Mrs. O'Hare, the woman needs to be touched. All right, what is happening? I thought we were going to get a cover of Holier Than Thou. We've got, a, we've got a little mini movie here, a little short film playing out. Real quick, Mrs. O'Hare, if you could, I've been doing some work in the garden, and I've hurt my, my oh, shoulder. Of course. If you could just a, a little massage with left shoulder here. Left, left. Yes. Um. It's the old got to hurt back trick. The old my shoulders are sure tight. Can you help me out trick? And uh, <clears throat> there's a mountain retreat that I like to uh, to go to, and you and I could work <laughs> together alone. Oh, sorry. Uh, um, uh, I'm, I should go find my husband. 
Pardon me, boys. Some big crosses, aren't they? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I wonder how much those things weigh. Boys. We need to fucking talk. <laughs> Jesus, I, I don't know what's happening here. I thought we were getting a cover to holier than thou. All right, you little fucks. Collections are way down. I don't know if you're stealing. But I will get to the bottom of this, I promise you, so help me God. Good morning. My trip to Tampa is not gonna fucking pay for itself. <laughs> so today, do not... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and say this straight out. I don't give a shit if the, if the cover is worth a damn or not, because I am invested in this narrative so much. I like this priest. Uh, I think he would, do, he, would, he would fit in real well on The Righteous Gems. You seen that show on HBO with Danny McBride? I, I'm loving this narrative. Do not take no for an answer. I don't even care if you have to stick your hand in a purse, you little dick. Don't take no for an answer. Now he sounds like Dennis Reynolds. It's the implication. It's the implication that things might go wrong for her afterlife if she says no to me. <laughs> now that's what I'm saying. God is all around us, each and every one of you, you and you. Now God's created. Oh, there's that, there's that lady's husband. The one that doesn't touch her. You, you and uh, you. What's wrong with that guy? What's his problem? I mean, come on. Now, God's creation takes many forms, as does music. And I'm told that our next act uses electrical guitars. That'll be a real treat for all of us, I'm sure. Not too loud, boys. So please give a great big Church of the Loving Epiphany welcome to us. All right, it appears we're finally getting to the music of this music video. We're three minutes and 10 seconds into this thing. I mean, their cover better be amazing because I, I might just want to see more of this, this little story play out. What are we gonna play? We don't know any contemporary Christian. Wait a second. I know we can play. <laughs> Holy shit, their drummer is on point, ain't he? My God, that guy's tearing it up. Wow. Hot damn, folks. I am into this cover. It is badass. This is like a this is like a cross between between punk and Metallica's thrash roots. I am into it. Ugh, man. All right, well, I gotta go over to Corey Taylor, because we've been we've been looking at this one now for several minutes, and I have not even mentioned Corey Taylor, one of my favorite vocalists currently performing right now from Stone Sour and Slipknot, and now Corey F. Taylor. Do it, Corey.
mean, come on. Ugh, Jesus. All right, these are two great covers. I'm already invested in both of them. I'm loving this, this punk thrash vibe from Off and Corey Taylor. I mean, come on. What a voice on that man. And I, I, I mean, it sounds, he's doing a pretty straightforward cover, I feel like. Off is obviously taking liberties with it. They're doing kind of their, over here, they're kind of doing their own thing, and I love that. But boy, ah, oh, this song is so great. All right, let's go back to Off. The altar boys just tossed off their little, I don't even know what those things are called. They're, they're, they're not dresses, I know that. Are they cassocks? Is that what that is? Is it a cassock? I'm unsure. I don't know if that's correct. But uh, I love that they just say, you know what, to hell with this. Woof! Right off. And then they've got off on their, on their, on their t-shirts. Classic. Classic rock and roll video motif. Damn, not only did Off cure her, they turned her into a gymnast. Lay hands on that girl. Poo! What is happening? Oh my God! I'm digging this music video, you guys. I feel like I, I feel like it's kind of an unfair comparison now to Corey's version because Corey's just doing a, you know, he's doing a straightforward version. He didn't film some type of elaborate little short film. Um, but man, I, I'm loving both of these. All right, let's go back to Corey Taylor. Before you judge me, take a look at you. Can't you find something better to do? You know, the only thing I'd have to say is, the only thing I'm missing is James's Het Hetfieldisms. This is, uh, I don't know if you, hopefully you're familiar with the original version of this. Uh, I've got it dedicated to memory. I, that whole Black album is just just burned right into to the brain there. But there's a lot of head isms in this one. A lots of ooh, ooh, a lots of yeah, a lot of those things. You know the yeah, yeah that. There's a lot of that going on in the original version that neither one of these are, are trying to recreate. So I'm kind of disappointed with that. But other than that, I, I'm loving both of these. Oh boy, Corey killed that. Let's hear that again. Yeah, who the fuck are you? Ooh, he, he gave us a yeah, ooh. Yeah, yeah! Oh boy. Oh my god. I should have been, you guys, I should have been standing for this one. You know, usually we stand on the Friday Night Reaction videos because those are more rowdy. Those are the more rowdy videos that I do, and these are usually a little more cerebral, a little bit calmer, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more intellectual. Should have been standing, should have been standing having beers for both of these, not coffee. Coffee's can get me amped up, too amped up. I need a beer to calm my nerves. Are we 
we're getting to one of my favorite parts of the song. It's the the, the build up version. It's uh, it's the heavy metal equivalent to the to the Panama extended yeah thing. I, I, I'm gonna pause it there because I don't wanna I don't wanna miss that. So let's go back over here to off. the hell is happening? Is that priest turning into a devil? It appears to be so. I'm not sure what's happening in this video. At first I thought it was just a straightforward narrative about, you know, about this punk band who mistakenly got booked at a, what looks like a revival of some sort. Now, now it appears that this man is turning into a demon. I'm into it. Oh my God, somebody needs a, ooh. We need a Slayer stat. getting a brass solo is that what's happening here we're getting a we're getting a brass solo a horn solo fuck yeah dude fuck yeah is jesus coming back are we gonna get the second uh, the second coming of christ in this video now this video has it all Oh my God, the, the makeup on this is on point. Jesus is coming back and the demon's flipping him the birds. I feel like this is a Jesus who don't take that shit. I feel like he's about to drop an elbow in that fool. Well, is that it? No, we're not doing pup. It Oh man, is that it? I wanted, I wanted a, oh, oh my God. Folks, things are just going crazy. I, I wanted a, a firmer ending to that. Ah! All right, let's finish up with Corey Taylor. I want to back up because I like this part here of the, of the original version. I want to make sure I hear this in its entirety. is happening i'm loving this i'm loving it they're panning the sound it's it's chaotic we get cory doing his do it do it not even he's not doing headfield he's doing cory i feel like and i'm loving it i mean like I said a minute ago, I feel like this should have been a Friday night reaction video so, so I could have slammed a couple of beers with this to calm my nerves a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, the coffee, the coffee thing already gets me hyped up. Just having the coffee gets that heart racing. And, uh, man, 
I feel like I could punch holes in walls right now. I feel like I could run on water is what I feel like because both of these versions are fantastic. Fantastic covers. My, the, these are definite playlist covers right here, you guys. Um, and you know, on, on these previous, on the, on the previous uh, blacklist things I've been doing, and you know, it's just now occurring to me, I put up the wrong background. It's usually the flames. I don't know, I don't know if I can fix that real quick. Let's see if I can. Uh, nope, I can't. It's not going to work. But uh, I feel like both of these covers are just, number one, they you can tell they both love the original. And both these covers are great. I've been rating these on Hetfields. One Hetfield means that the artist failed in the cover. Should never have even tried it. Two means they came out and they did what they were supposed to do. They gave us what they were supposed to, but nothing extra. And three, Hetfields means they just were in the stratosphere. I mean, I don't think there's any question about it. This, about this one, folks. Three Hetfields. Yeah, yeah. Three Hetfields because both of these covers are just fantastic. Let me know in the comments what you think. Remember, keep them nice. Otherwise, I just ditch those comments because this is a family of folks who enjoy hanging out and visiting with each other and, and sharing cool stuff. So if you're, you're crappy in the comments, you just get deleted. Just know that. But let me know in the comments what you think. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Share us on social media. And again, Todd and I will be performing in Testify's uh, show next week. For me, that is September 30th. I don't know when you're going to watch this. It's a weird thing about YouTube. Sometimes people watch it when I post. Sometimes it's four months, and then it starts getting a lot of hits. But in any case, September 30th, Todd and I are going to be in Testify's show. We're each going to be telling a, a related but separate story. And if you want to see that, I'll put a link in uh, in this description whenever I get that, uh, whenever I get that Zoom link from uh, the Testify testify folks. So thank you for watching this folks. Hope you have a great day. Let me know what you think in the comments. Take care of yourselves.